Why I don't, like okay, I honestly don't understand why people ask me if I'm drunk or just hyper. You've seen me commentate on LCS, like because a few swear words are coming out of my mouth now doesn't mean I'm drunk or hyper. This is how I am. Like people are just like, man, Riv is fucking stoned out of his mind. He's acting like he acts on LCS. He must just rip hits right in between games and take shots of vodka right through. I don't even know how he does it. He's just so good at drinking and casting. Status. Status! Gogi Apparatus. Gogi, oh, yo, is me. I can't even see the sea. Gogi, Gogi, go, Gogi, Gogi. Let's play some 80 carry. Run so fast. Dog I saw you with the ticket stub in your hand. I saw you. <laughs> With the ticket stub in the hand, I saw you under the light, middle of the night. Couldn't get it wrong. With the ticket stub in your hand, I saw you. With the ticket stub in your hand, I saw you. With the ticket stub in your hand, I saw you under the light, middle of the night. Couldn't get it wrong. I had to. I've listened to fish for a long time. My sisters listen to this stuff, so that's why it grew on me. Excuse me. Yasuo Nautilus being picked up on the side red. Looks like Jace on the blue side. We're going to be getting a bit of a poke team here, but Teemo is definitely going to synergize with that. So let's get a Teemo in the mix because Teemo is poke. Am I right? Am I wrong? Who's wrong? Who's right? Who even knows anymore? Teemo's in the game. We have Satan, ladies and gentlemen. He's made an appearance. 20 seconds left on the clock. If he locks that in, I'll probably be a little bit sad, but whatever. He'll hopefully lay down the mushrooms when it's the game. See what happens. The Alpeca says he's going mid. It's 11 seconds on the Teemo pick for the mid lane, ladies and gentlemen. We have joined the Carnival right now, and it looks like the circus is coming out to play. And it is the Teemo's mid lane. ADC is also going to be taken after I requested that. So this one's starting off great. Let's see what happens going on to the red team now. They're probably going to get more priority picks and stuff. They can just ram it up our buttholes. But we'll find out. Varus with a bit of piercing arrow going in there. They already have the dredge line and depth charge to knock somebody up for Yasuo. So parent Planned Parenthood is going to be good for us on this one with everybody getting knocked up. Coming on, Summoner 4 here, looking to get picked up. 20 seconds left on that clock. Let's see what he gets in here. Really waiting like the LCS teams to get those mind games in. Not allow the other team enough time to get that pick in. It's going to be an Aurelia. Whoa, flashy. May not know what to do as it comes around to us. Probably going to get another support game in. Maybe boring, maybe great. Flash hooks, who knows. Flash monsoons, it could be the real deal. 
Let's see what I'm going to pick here. There is a choice of jungle, but I'm not going to do that. That would be embarrassing. I'm going to do this so he has to jungle. Hopefully he doesn't mind. And he said he's going to fill. He should be all right with this. If he can fill the jungle, we're going to see what he picks. Rek'Sai is still open. Gragas actually left up this game as well. But I feel like he's going to go for a Volivare, maybe. Maybe in the Vs, somewhere like a Wukong in the jungle. Kha'Zix, maybe. Haven't seen him in a while. Shaco can be played. Just had a new skin come out. Really, I don't know what he's going to pick. Still a counter pick coming over here for Team Priority. Scion in the jungle. <laughs> Who put Why didn't I guess that? Why didn't I guess that? So we're going to have a Scion coming out of the jungle. Hopefully he knows how to steer and he's taking his DMV course, making it through those small channels. And look at Shaco on the other team. That's going to be fantastic. I'm sure I'll miss a million hooks on him and look like a stupid idiot. Teams have been locked in. 20 seconds on the clock before we get into the Rift. Head over to Twitter. Let us know who you think is going to win. Hashtag Rift Team. Hashtag Team Priority here with Yasuo Knock Up. Somebody's going to get knocked up this game, and they're going to have to tell their parents. Five seconds left on the clock. Let's get this going. Good luck to both teams. I'm going to grab a drink. Damn, a lot of votes here on both sides. Looks like we got some priority team. We also got some Riv team. We'll have to see, though. Hashtag knocked up. Cold-hearted. Ow. <laughs> Cold-hearted Aurelia, Frostblade, and Arctic Ops. Like these guys are going to be cold blooded killers this game. We don't really synergize at all. Our team is ridiculous. It's an amalgamation of what the hell, a little bit of Yippie Kaye, and a whole lot of holy shit. So we're going to see if we can come out with a win here. The other team has a bit of structure. They're doctors. They're going to be surgical, very methodical, method to their madness. And I think it's going to happen with this Shaco coming out strong. I believe Scion will dive early in the game to Shaco. It's a teleport, smite. Scion, so I cannot wait to see what he can bring out here. Roaring through the lanes with his ganks. That face of regret, Scion teleport. Ow! I actually stream quite a bit, but I don't really like promote it on Twitter, uh, Twitter and stuff. I'll be like, sometimes I'm streaming. Here you go, coming out. But tonight's a fun stream. It's been a good one. It's going well today. Haven't won many games. I think I'm two and three, maybe. Won a few. Definitely lost more than I've won. That's normal. I don't know why. Always in the negative. Probably because I cast when I stream. I'm not really focusing on the game. But focusing enough, I don't want to do a disservice to the people I'm playing with. So I try to make things happen. Make plays. Keep it going. Overlay comes when I get in the game because it switches on uh, what you're looking at. If I put it on overlay now, it would just be a black screen because I'm capturing my desktop. And then what actually sli switches the in-game client, it's different than the loading one. So, as soon as that gets in-game, I change my overlay. But thank you. I appreciate it. I know that sometimes gets a little annoying. I'm not drinking beer. I am drinking the bowl of redness, actually. And I always have a uh, jug of water next to me because water is very good for you. You should always drink water. PSA of the day. My favorite team in the NALCS or any league in the world. If so, who? I don't have a favorite team, but I do enjoy watching the new teams more. Not just because they're new, but because I feel like new blood itself kind of produces a, a more fun game to watch, more exciting. 
Because if you, like, you kind of think of, like, the NBA, yeah, the NBA is exciting. But when the NCAA and college basketball goes to, like, the Final Four, those games are fucking awesome, right? There's so much heart from these players that haven't kind of have been on that stage with a trophy in their hands. So they want it for the first time. So not that I favor a certain team in particular, but I do like seeing and enjoy watching the, the New Blood teams more. And that's my answer. So, because they're new. Because <laughs> they're new. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hashtag rig team. Let's go. All right. The amalgamation of random crap. Let's see what happens. The recap. As we are in the game and on the rift for our fourth game, fifth game of the day. I can't even remember anymore. It's been quite a while. It is already dark outside. We do have Jace in the top lane. A Teemo lock-in by the Alpeca in the mid lane. Probably going to get shaved down real quick. I think he's up against a Yasuo. So that, that could suck for him. Looking at a jinx down at the bottom with me. And you can't forget the Scion Teleport Smite in the jungle. We're in the red trunks. Over here in the red trunks, Amethyst444 weighing in at 400 stones. And he is ready to rip some faces apart. I mean, look at the size of this axe. This man can do it all, even drop the base. I'm going to see if he can drop the base a few times throughout the game. Like I said, I'll always change it when I get in a game, right as the minions spawn. It's happened four consecutive games in a row. You don't have to tell me each time it happens, but thank you. Thank you again. Alright, I'm just not going to listen to you guys anymore or comment when you say overlay. Because nobody listens. It's alright though. That's alright. Charge that flame. Charge that flame. Alright, Amethyst, let's go, baby. Run! <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Yeah! <laughs> this guy's a comedian over here. Oh shit, and I missed the first CS, so I make her mess up. Alright, Varus Nautilus in the bot lane, they don't have really too much that could take us. I mean it'll be it'll be quick for Varus to get that damage out. But if we hit it fast, he's going to want to let go of his piercing arrow right away. I got to get this back. Get out of here. I'm get push control. So I think we can hit it fast when she gets her chompers. Just keep hitting those waves, baby. Nope. There's two. <laughs> Silver plays from both sides in the bottom lane. Both supports not knowing what the hell they're doing. Thumbs up the assholes to start this one off. We'll see if we can keep it strong. Jinx hit. What? Wait, what? Where did we do? What is. What? Where do I. Uh, what, Jinx? Jinx! 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 What are you doing? No! Stop. What? What is. What is happening right now? Alright. All you know what? I'm just gonna stay over here and soak up the experience. I'm not really sure what is going on. So, uh, hanging out in lane here by myself, making my way downtown. <laughs> Jinx is back. That's what I'm talking about. How did the, 
How? What? How did that not relic? Riot pulleys. No, get the me get the melee minion. It's worth more gold, darling. What are you doing? We definitely can't engage now. As I try to. That would have been a nice hook, though. At least, holy shit, she has double buff? No, we can engage! Huzzah! Motherfuckers! <laughs> Great ward, Riv. Great fucking ward, man. What are you, drunk? Drunk, Riv. We don't have a ward for up here, so careful. I think everybody should know something. We might stop the, the drunk high questions. There are a few things I live by in life. One is you never have to work a day in your life if you do something you love. And two, you should always insert random into your life. It keeps it fresh, keeps a smile on your face, and keeps things going well. Just keep things random. It's fun. It's fun for everybody. Make silly comments. Do stupid shit. It brightens up everybody's day. It's kind of the life I live. So am I drunk? No. Do I enjoy myself? All the fucking time. All the time. And that's the only way you should live life. Way too short. Way too short to be pissed off at things. Oh, oh, oh. Little positional error by me there. They actually could have gone really aggressive there with me against the wall. Knowing my positioning it would be for like another 10 steps. I also commentated too much during the time that my AD carry had double buffs. It probably should have gone a little bit harder. So, really big mistake by me there. We could have started owning a lane pretty hard. So, there's commentary getting in the way again. Almost. That was a good bait by him to get the hook out. Good ward by Jinx. Keeps alive in that sense. Calm down, Jinx. You don't have to auto attack so much, darling. Why did that soul come to me? Oh, my exhaust didn't go off. Shit. I thought I was going to get away from this guy, but I did not during my flash. My fault. My fault. <clears throat> I actually probably shouldn't have flashed. I let myself go down. Jinx was already going to pick up that kill from Zap onto uh, Nautilus, so in retrospect, definitely could have played that better. <sighs> Jinx a little out here. That Pierce Aguera coming in from Varus. She doesn't even have the mana pool to fight him right now if she wanted to. The Chompers, I don't think, would even be in her favor, so... Happened in there. Yasuo getting taken down. Scion coming up big with a gank in the mid lane, apparently. He is now 1 1 and 1, so he gets himself a little bit of action. Varus slow pushing this one in, but looks like he might actually try to get a back off of this. At that point, Nautilus now comes back to the lane. He's still going to help, but he should actually be out here trying to ward. He didn't give any Varus any assistance, and he didn't soak up any CS, so at that point, your support should be kind of going around knowing that the AD carry is going to back, giving the rest of the team a little bit of help. I just want to be here for this experience right now, and I can go start placing my wards. I want to move the pink up. I think we have enough control over lane once we push that I'll be able to protect this pretty well. And I'll just put a normal one here. Since we don't have a ward right here, that people can come around the back side. That actually helps a lot when that's there. I'll 
don't think that's the wild goose chase. You should do that. Doo -doo. Oh, misses the zap. See, if you miss a zap like that, it means you don't play the champion a lot. I mean, sometimes you're going to get something off, but that was a <laughs> way far off zap. Like, not even just the tip. So many things flying around. I didn't actually see his piercing arrow coming through the charge. Looks like Jace has gone down to Aurelia in the top lane. Timo versus Yasuo in the mid lane. Oh, little gassy. 42 to 49 at 9 minutes in. So they are both, I don't even know. <laughs> Scion going deep. Too deep. Go to sleep. Oh, no. He's getting messed up. Oh, shit. Wow. I just fucking tunneled the walk right in there. All right. I deserve to die on this one. That was a, uh, I didn't mean to click. When I came up this way, I accidentally clicked here. And I, uh, fuck died. <laughs> the throws are real. Holy shit. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty big error there, I'd say. I fucking clicked. That's life. That's, uh, hashtag silver place. Right there. There you go. Dugger, 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 come, come for you. Why are you even on that? That means I haven't used my sights, so. that pink cord. It's not really doing much down there. I don't have my sweepy yet. Oh, he's got it. Nice. Good job. Uh, no, no. Oh, God. See this? Like, I mean, we have the wards prepped for it. I'm happy about that. But we don't know where their jungler is. But I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Played that one right. GG team. Alrighty, that's pretty random. Where, Jinx, 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 the bottom, there's a huge, darling. I guess I should have gone mid, but apparently, like, to save them, but why? Oh, you're gonna come bot lane? Alright, I'll meet you down here. What's going on? That'll do, pig. That'll do. See, Jinx had it planned all along. She's like, if I go top lane, they'll push it into bottom lane, and then they'll feel way too confident. So we take them out. All right. She knows what she's doing. We should get this. Just take it out. I see that. 
I would like to thank everybody for coming in and hanging out in my chat or my stream. 10,000 doesn't happen very often, but I appreciate it, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the games and I hope you're enjoying the casting. It's been fun for me. But Jinx a little far behind on this one. Took her about nine years to buy, and I don't know why, actually. She should not have taken that long. Oh, body blocked by a minion. That was a good one. Let's try to keep at least off the turret. Nope. Why didn't Vera stay and kite me? Alright, I thought I was a dead man. Sorry. My comp froze. <laughs> I need to get out of here and go ward. I'm not doing anything. Just make sure they didn't push it. Pink's there. don't need to put another one down, but I would like to get some forward wards and see where this fucking Shaco is half the time. I don't think he's gotten too much control of the game. He's 1-1-3, one, one, so that's good. Take that down. Nice. I can't with the blue on me. That'll do way too much damage. She's <laughs> fucking blue. Oh, I hit the hit the mushroom. So got angry again. Oh, I do want to get a ward in there though. Won't you come out to play? Jinx. She should be coming up here. There she is. Okay, good. <laughs> that bounce around. Holy bounce house. Oh. Got exhaust for this engage, baby. Keep the pressure on. Don't let him go top. Actually, keep the pressure on. Don't let him go top. You should be able to get that. Ugh, we should have kept the pressure. A little bit of or mana to do it with, but it's all right. They're not even going top anyways. Fuck it. It worked out in our favor anyways. What? Oh, I'm level 8. Oh, I'm level 8 and like 10 experience. Come on. I am literally 13 experience away. Son of a bitch. Oh, I oh, got him. That's alright, a sacrifice. All the flashes. Focus on shit we don't need, bros. Keep 
keep up the good work. Oh, he almost walked into that one. Holy shit, this team owes damage. Oh, I thought I had a potion on three. I didn't. That's all right. Got a good push on the mid lane here. Bottom lane's also going to be pushing up a little bit. Top lane won't need clear for quite a while, so really good time to get a fight win there. Fortunately, we can't get bottom to use this wave, so that'll just be a cleanup for uh, Varus coming up. He's 131 to 111. 20 minutes in. These guys should be more around 170 at least. But that's all right. That's all right. We got a Shaco in our jungle. I'm going to deny him a little bit. Just put a box in there. You can see the animation. Uh, clear that box. Yeah, there we go. So he's not an AP Shaco. That's good. Good damage from these Teemo mushrooms. What? Riot, please. That was a kill. What in the shizzle? My nizzle. Riot, please. That just went through the backside of Yasuo. So, let's see. We also, we also have to deal with that. That's all right. Somebody's gonna get their chair pulled out from under him tomorrow at work. Oh, they backed it off. Shaco and Nautilus trying to hold this down. Aurelia's in the top lane. We should actually be able to get a second tier turret down here. Grab my souls. Let's move this up. I'm gonna get some side wards down so Aurelia can't actually get a good flank. I don't have one back towards Baron. That's actually might be her path, but by now she's gonna have to come back already to help. I'm trying to get a good angle on that, but not too much. The jokes! The jokes starting to come out. Yasuo is carrying your team. And he's on the other team. I get it. I get it. It's almost like it's like freaks at that or something. Yasuo eats it in the face. Yasuo goes down. Can't alt after that, big bro. Three, two, one. Tanking the turret from my team. Salami, I'll let you know something funny. Salami is a fantastic word to give your team while you're tanking a turret. Why do you say salami? You can say it over and over again and people will realize what you're saying. It's because it's still on me. The turret is still on me. So you let your teammates know what the hell's happened. You say, salami, salami. And they know the turret's still being tanked because it's still on you. Salami. It's a good one. People remember it. Salami just means you can go harder. Salami means you can go ham. That's not a dad joke. That shit's real. Salami. Salami, bitches. Asalami Lakeum. <clears throat> What's happening in the chat here? What's going on, kids? What's going on? All right, the other team it has grouped in the mid lane. Looks like Aurelia. Does she even have teleport? Yeah, so it's down, because she doesn't have it. She has joined with the team now. Probably why she actually did not come from the other lane last time. 
Gonna have to get some wards up onto Baron soon here. It looks like they have actually already gotten the vision that they need. So I'm gonna work my... Actually, team looks like they're gonna engage. Have to respect what the team is doing. As a support, you change your golf swing compared to what everybody else is doing. And once you figure out everybody else's golf swing, the fights become much easier to peel for people. And much easier to figure out what the hell they're trying to do. Uh, there we go, baby. That was right down the fairway. Right down the fairway. Just to make the chat happy, active use, active use, there you go, there you go. See, right now, the other team should instantly be going for Baron. As soon as they saw Jace running down here, they should be trying to stop and go for Baron. Because we're going to be backing after this. And we don't have any wars on that side of the map. Holy shit, we're going to fight. Alright, this could be bad. Please don't throw, please don't throw, please don't throw, please don't throw. I'm going to block for the team here, make sure nobody's coming in, so the peel's there. Alright, go the other way. Alright, get back. I gotta go get wards on Baron. This is one of my favorite songs in the world. Pretty crazy game so far. 24 to 11. Definitely a bloodbath at 35 kills. 26 and a half minutes in. Flashes down for another minute and a half. Or minute and a half. 130 seconds. Lol. So we're going to have to wait for that one to come back up. Just under three minutes. We're good. But just over two. There's an ultimate from Yasuo. He shouldn't be able to take them out right away. It looks like we could come up with a kill here. Over the wall, the hook misses. He gets one more hit on the liquid. The ignite could take her out. She runs away from the shield and she lives. Tightens the butthole just enough so that she does not go down. And it looks like we now have Toto on the run. He's going to go over the wall. He went right here. Going to figure out where he did go as well. Got that pink ward. Didn't go this way, that's for sure. No, he went up. Trying to fake everybody out. So we got the kill there. But we don't have any push on the lanes right now. I just wasted the shit out of my pink ward when I could have used my active of the trinket. So forward wards placed even more in the brush side. To make sure they cannot get over. Shaco down. This should be a very easy baron for the team to take. And then we'll have what we need. Also have super minions pushing down mid lane. So if they try to contest this, they're definitely going to be hurting. Jinx in the bottom lane. Hopefully they don't see that. Think they can take us down at baron. Doesn't even look like they're reacting here. They're cleaning up their buffs for sure. You can see Nautilus coming out. That means they just got red. She might flash over and try to steal, but nope, she does not. Knowing that there could be Teemo Mushrooms here. They do not try to engage. Very, very low as I make my way in. I should probably go back to heal. There is the Righteous Glory from Scion. Roars it out to get FTA Gambit. FTA Gambit getting knocked down. Hammers to the skies coming from Jace. SFX Gom coming up with a kill for himself. Blind on Terrell and Deer. The Nautilus still running backs, finding Solace on the fountain right now. Nautilus had not used the all. I'm getting fucked up in the backside right now because I wasn't paying attention. Gonna hook over the wall. Oh, the blind hook! The exhausted takedown of the Shaco! They're gonna make their way out of the Nexus turrets. The Amethyst 4 4 Scion coming through huge out of the jungle with the TP Smite. Able to come up big in the game, coming out first blood, and it looks like they're onto the Nexus turrets. It was a hard fought win. They had their dinner and went back for seconds, and it paid off. 
for the hashtag Riv Team. They come up with the amalgamation of whatever happened in Champion Select, and the W is real. B plus, come on, mom. Ah, gee whiz. Do I shoutcast everyday life? You know what? I actually try to shoutcast as much as I can because it only makes you better. I could shoutcast making a sandwich, baby. Hell yeah. Making his way to the fridge. He's going to open it up and see, oh, not too many condiments to be used. There's some old mayonnaise, but still, before the expiration date, he's going to be able to use that. Wheat bread is the choice of bread here. He has toasted it first very nicely. Butter on one side of each slice of bread. Looks like he's gonna be going for some ham as well. A little bit of lettuce would be good. Add some moisture to that sandwich. Make sure it's not too dry. Slice of cheese. Looks like it's gonna be the pepper jack choice on this one. Slice a little bit thicker for that deli style slice and it looks like he is absolutely gonna have some spicy Dijon mustard to lather down on the inside of that bread slice. Just on one side, don't want too much. It will absolutely overpower the ham he's going to be using along with a kick of prosciutto. It's going to be right on the side of that one. So with a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe some oil vinaigrette, he is going to kick some ass with that sandwich. Make it, and I believe he's going to go with a nice ganma chai tea. A very nice rice tea. It's actually delicious. One of my favorite and, and enjoyable with any type of meal. 